UPI holding a celebration today as they became the first university in the world to receive a unique high-tech device. They say the cutting-edge technology will help them continue their work of improving the world around us for many years to come. I was there for an up-close look. Today, we are headed even deeper into the future. Which RPI President Dr. Martin A. Smith says is possible thanks to this large device behind him. I do believe that with the help of this quantum computing system, we are going to discover wonders. RPI is the first university in the world to now house an IBM Quantum System 1. The high-tech computer works to solve problems that are too complex for classical computers, including healthcare, national security, artificial intelligence, sustainability, and more. This technology holds the promise of solving some of the most pressing problems that we have in the world of discovery, scientific discovery of novel materials, for example, of novel battery technologies for the future or better fertilizers for agriculture, etc. And by bringing it here, we're going to be able to educate the next generation of scientists and engineers in the technology and discover applications that will make a real difference to our society. Dozens of people, including students looking to be a part of that next generation of scientists and engineers, turning out to get an up-close look. And having the quantum computer come onto campus, like this is so exciting. And I couldn't believe that this was going to happen uh, while I was still at RPI. And uh, having a quantum computer on uh, campus, it changes a lot of things. Basically, we're just moving humanity forward, I think, uh, by knowing more. The computer will also work to enhance the educational opportunities for students interested in solving the world's problems. This will be only for RPI students, so it really gives us an unprecedented usage of a resource that is not very um, available throughout the country or throughout the world in that sense. So as students doing research and moving into the future, it's really just an invaluable resource for us. Everyone in attendance saying the technology will help highlight RPI and the capital region as a technology epicenter. I think the students that are like Curtis that are going to come to RPI because we have a quantum computer and are going to go out and change the world with that knowledge, that's the real inspiration. The IBM quantum computer is expected to be operational in January.